A 16-year-old prodigy, uh, Kepo Shoyinka, has uh, made a debut at the Lagos Fringe Festival. Extraordinary visual artist happens to be the youngest participant. The festival's six-year history, her collection titled Crows Come at Dawn, is comprised of over 10 captivating paintings that intricately examine the relationship between gender and culture. The festival is renowned as Africa's largest open-access multidisciplinary arts event, and is committed to uplifting new voices in Nigeria's vibrant creative industry. This is my first exhibition outside of school. I'm really excited. It's very nerve-wracking being here. I'm at Lagos Fringe. I applied um, in August and I got accepted. It's breathtaking and very surprising that I got accepted in. And I feel like it's a great opportunity. I have around 13, 14 artworks I've been working since September, uh, making on. And they all explored uh, themes I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about social justice, especially. So I explore the concept of gender and culture and how the two interact in a positive and negative way. I feel like these are themes I really like exploring. And it's something that um, fuels me to and drives me to create art, not just through visual mediums, but through theater and writing and even crocheting. <laughs> it's something I loved for, from a very young age. Started painting properly and professionally around two years ago. And it's something I haven't stopped since. Yeah. So as a mother myself, I'm interested in the arts and crafts line, right? So I consider myself a creative during my non-business hours, right? So that's how I grew up. And instead of sticking her in front of the screen 100% of the time, um, I try to ensure that there are a lot of creative sort of activities that she had access to. Um, on her own side, I found that she had a lot of interest in that anyway, so I just tried to encourage it as much as possible. Um, so, for example, for her 10th birthday, let me give that as a typical example, rather than bouncing castles and all of that, we had art displays, we had t-shirts being, tie, tie and dye t-shirts being made, uh, and then we had, instead of your, before sip and paint became a thing, we had small canvases for children to design, we had tote bags for children to paint on, because I just think that, you know, give them an opportunity to actually roam free and express themselves, test out their creative abilities and let's see what happens. And that's what I did with her.